L3 Technologies, formerly L3 Communications Holdings, is an American company that supplies command and control, communications, intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance systems and products, avionics, ocean products, training devices and services, instrumentation, aerospace, and navigation products. Its customers include the Department of Defense, Department of Homeland Security, U.S. government intelligence agencies, NASA, aerospace contractors and commercial telecommunications and wireless customers. L3 is headquartered in Murray Hill, Manhattan, New York City. History L3 was formed as L3 Communications in 1997 to acquire certain business units from Lockheed Martin that had previously been part of Laurel Corporation. These units had belonged to Lockheed Corporation and Martin Marietta, which had merged three years before in 1993. The company was founded by and named for Frank Lanza and Robert Lepenta in partnership with Lehman Brothers. Lanza and Lepenta had both served as executives at Laurel and Lockheed. L3 continued to expand through mergers and acquisitions to become one of the top ten U.S. government contractors. Topic acquisitions 1997 Paramax Systems Corporation from Lockheed Martin. Laurel had acquired Paramax in 19,952,000 Training and Simulation Division of Raytheon Systems Co., based in Arlington, Texas. This company was formerly known as Hughes Training, Inc., and part of the Hughes Aircraft Defense Group purchased by Raytheon from General Motors two years earlier. The division traces its ancestry to the original company formed by Edwin Link, inventor of the airplane simulator, and accordingly was renamed Link Simulation and Training, now known as Link Training and Simulation. Point two oh oh one KDI Precision Products, Batavia, Ohio. Electronic fuzzing, safe and arm devices. Litton Electron Devices from Northrop Grumman renamed L3 Electron Devices 2002 Raytheon Aircraft Integration Systems renamed L3 Integrated Systems The Greenville Texas facility is now known as L3 Mission Integration Division while the Waco Texas facility is now known as L3 Platform Integration Division Coleman Corporation which came about from the joining of C Technologies and Coleman Research Corporation Perkinelma Detection Systems from Perkinelma which became L3 Security and Detection Systems.2003 Ship Analytics, Inc. BF Goodrich Avionics L3 Communication Mass from Bombardier Aerospace.2004 Cincinnati Electronics, Mason, Ohio Infrared detectors and systems, Space Avionics.2005 Titan Corp., after a failed buyout attempt by Lockheed Martin. L3 Communication Combat Propulsion Systems, previously owned by General Dynamics Land Systems. L3 Communications Maps, previously CAE's Marine Controls Unit Electron Dynamic Devices from Boeing Satellite Systems. Applied Signal and Image Technology, Linthicum Heights, MD. Geolocation systems for RF emitters. 2006 Advanced System Architectures, a company based in Fleet, Hampshire, United Kingdom. L3 Acer has core capabilities in the development and through life management of complex information systems, data fusion and tracking solutions, and interoperable secure communication systems. Crestview Aerospace, a company based in northwest Florida. Crestview Aerospace provides aircraft structures, major airframe assemblies, and military aircraft modifications for leading prime contractors and OEMs in the aerospace industry, sold in 2017 along with Vertex Aerospace and TCS, Nortronics and Maripro, based in Fremantle, Australia and Santa Barbara, California, respectively, from Nortronics plc in Aberdeen, Scotland. Nortronics and Maripro provide acoustic ranges and hydrographics to commercial and defense markets. TRL Technology, a specialist defense electronics company based in Gloucestershire, United Kingdom. 
TRL Technology is internationally known for development and innovation in the fields of interception, surveillance, electronic warfare, and communications. 2010 Insight Technologies, a company based in Londonderry, New Hampshire. Insight develops and builds optics, from night vision goggles to weapon mounted sights and lasers. 2012 Thales Training and Simulation, Partial, a multinational company which manufactures civil and military full flight simulators and provides related training and support services, a wholly owned subsidiary of the Thales Group. In August 2012 L3 acquired Thales Group's civil fixed-wing flight simulation business, to form L3 Link Simulation and Training UK.2015 CTC Aviation Limited rebranded in May 2017 as L3 Airline Academy a company based in Southampton providing training and resourcing to many international airlines, most notably through its CTC Wings Ab Initio flight training program which successfully places many cadets within a vast network of partner airlines. As well as providing MPL courses for airlines such as Cathay Dragon, EasyJet, Flybe, Hong Kong Airlines, Qatar Airways and Virgin Atlantic Airways. CTC Aviation also trains pilots on the British Airways Future Pilot Programme. The Aviation Academy has a 98% employment rate with various airlines including Ryanair, Flybe and many more. CTC also has locations in Hamilton, New Zealand and Gatwick Airport in London. 2016 McDonald Humphrey Automation, a Luton, UK-based checkpoint security and automation company. Exmac Automation, a Droitwich, UK-based automated material handling company. 2017 Open Water Power, a Somerville, Massachusetts-based battery startup spun out of MIT. Its novel aluminum water battery technology promises a tenfold improvement in the endurance of unmanned underwater vehicles. Ocean Server Technology, a Fall River, Massachusetts based small business specializing in lithium ion battery, sensor, and robotic mini sub UUV products. ASV Global, a Lafayette, Louisiana based business with international offices in Porchester specializing in autonomous surface vehicles for commercial and defense markets. 2018 In October 2018, L3 announced an all stock merger of equals with Florida-based Harris Corporation, to be closed subject to approvals in mid-2019. The new company, tentatively called L3 Harris Technologies, Inc., will be based in Melbourne, Florida, where Harris is currently headquartered. Topic business organization As of 2017, L3 is organized under four business segments, Electronic Systems Advanced Programs Aviation Products and Security Power and Propulsion Systems Precision Engagement and Training Aerospace Systems Aircraft Systems ISR Systems Mass Vertex Aerospace Communication Systems Advanced Communications Broadband Communications Space and Power Tactical SATCOM Sensor Systems Space and Sensor Systems Maritime Sensor Systems Worldwide Surveillance and Targeting Missions Warrior Sensor Systems Management Frank Lanza, CEO and co-founder, died on June 7, 2006. CFO Michael T. Strianis was named as interim CEO, and was later appointed chairman, president and CEO of the company on October 23, 2006. In 2015, former Lockheed Martin executive Christopher E. Kubasik was named president and COO, with Strianis remaining as chairman and CEO. On July 19, 2017, Strianis announced that he would retire as CEO on December 31, 2017, to be succeeded by Kubasik, but would remain as board chairman. As of January 1, 2018, Christopher E. Kubasik became chief executive officer and president of L3 Technologies. Naming. 
L3 Technologies was originally named L3 Communications for the last initials of its founders Frank Lanza, Robert Lepenta, and Lehman Brothers. Despite the similarity in naming, there is no corporate connection between L3 Technologies, formerly known as L3 Communications, and networking provider Level 3 Communications, whose name is often abbreviated, L3, in informal industry communication. On December 31, 2016, L3's company name changed from L3 Communications Holdings, Inc. to L3 Technologies, Inc. to better reflect the company's wider focus since its founding in 1997. The company's website changed from l-3com.com to l3t.com, but the company's NYSE ticker symbol of LLL remained the same. Topic products L3 Provision, Millimeter Wave Airport Passenger Screening System L3 Examiner SX, 3DX, and XLB, Airport Baggage Scanning Systems L3 Optex, Trace Level Explosive Detection System AVCATT, a Mobile Aviation Training Simulator Orchid, Total Development and Simulation Environment, Power, Marine EOTech, Holographic Weapon Sites L3 Sonoma O, Electro-Optical Imaging Systems, 1508M Dragon Eyes, 1205MD, 2111X, 2514X, and 2711G. Controversies Federal contract suspension In 2010 it was announced that L3's Special Support Programs Division had been suspended by the United States Air Force from doing any contract work for the U.S. federal government. A U.S. Department of Defense investigation had reportedly found that the company had used a highly sensitive government computer network to collect competitive business information for its own use. A U.S. federal criminal investigation ended the temporary suspension on July 27, 2010. <inaudible> <inaudible> Counterfeit parts On November 4, 2010 L3 issued a part purge notification to prevent future use of Chinese counterfeit parts, but did not notify its customers whose display systems suffered from much higher than expected failure rates. <laughs> EOTech defective holographic sites lawsuit In 2015, L3 Technologies agreed to pay $25.6 million to settle a lawsuit with the U.S. government. L3 was accused of knowingly providing the U.S. military with optics that failed in extreme temperatures and humid weather conditions. These sites were provided to infantry and special operations forces operating in Afghanistan and Iraq, as well as civilians and law enforcement. The civil fraud lawsuit was filed by Preet Bharara, in the Southern District of New York. The lawsuit alleged L3 officials have known since 2006 that the holographic sites being sent to Iraq and Afghanistan failed to perform as advertised in extreme temperature ranges. The lawsuit alleges that the FBI independently discovered the thermal drift defect in March 2015 and presented EOTech with the very same findings that the company had documented internally for years. Shortly thereafter, EOTech finally disclosed the thermal drift defect to Dodd. According to court documents, EOTech had advertised that its sites performed in temperatures ranging from minus 40 degrees to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, and in humid conditions, in temperature extremes the sites exhibited thermal drift, which is when the site's point of aim differed from its point of impact. The sites also suffered from reticle fading and parallax. See also Top 100 U.S. federal contractors <laughs>